The Chinese financial entrepreneur Wei Jin Tang, persecuted and imprisoned, diligently studied and reflected during his time in prison, eventually making significant discoveries, or part three. In prison, Tang learned much from Deng Xiaoping's writings, from British Prime Minister Winston Churchill's experiences, and more importantly, from South African President Nelson Mandela. He also studied Apple founder Steve Jobs and gained valuable insights. As he learned, he applied, thought, and practiced. He was very active and productive in prison, gaining a sense of accomplishment. During this time, Tang also read over a dozen legal novels, finding inspiration and hope from a famous writer named John Grisham, who went from being a lawyer to a novelist, politician, and congressman. From these novels, Tang learned judicial strategy, tactics, value, and the art of harvesting rewards. He also drew inspiration and encouragement from the case of Jesus, as recounted in a book called More Than a Carpenter, which compared his situation to Jesus' persecution, death sentence, and resurrection. Knowing oneself and the enemy is key to winning every battle. Tang studied hard and practiced relentlessly, gaining confidence through countless court appearances, an opportunity few get. He built up his confidence, communicating and transmitting information, organizing and uniting people, and leveraging collective strength and wisdom for a great comeback. Finally, Tang shared a story from an award-winning Chinese essay, The Death of Socrates, about the ancient Greek thinker, educator, and philosopher Socrates. Due to his fame and influence, someone, the prosecutor, sought to gain notoriety by persecuting him to death. He used young people as pawns to falsely accuse Socrates of corrupting the youth, using the court's power to judge and execute him. In court, Socrates defended himself with truth, wisdom, and character. But the court still sentenced him to death. Socrates chose to die with honor, drinking poison hemlock calmly and gracefully, impressing even his enemies. While Tang did not equate himself to Socrates, he found inspiration in the wisdom of life and death from this story, realizing that personal death is not terrifying. What matters most is leaving behind the most valuable and useful information for the world and society, just as Socrates did. Thus, Wei Jin Tang's legacy would persist, growing and flourishing in people's minds he would continue to transmit valuable information to the world. Tang ended the article by expressing his deep gratitude to God for guiding him through this life and death struggle, feeling immense energy, courage, and strength. He vowed to work with his investors and the Chinese community to achieve unprecedented success in the financial world, fulfilling their dreams together. Through this case, he recognized that there were no absolute bad guys in the world, that there was always hope, and that a miracle was possible as long as they worked together with God's blessings and protection. This article serves as a testimony, a declaration, and an expression of faith and confidence. It also lays out Tang's outlook and planning for the future leaving behind valuable resources and inspiration for his investors, his company, and society. Wei Jin Tang had faith that one day he would achieve a higher level of success beyond just being the Chinese Buffett, becoming a significant figure in history, one who would create wealth, justice, and miracles for society.